Hello everyone from Praveen Kumar and Sridhar Purandare. This video aims at giving a quick introduction to data science. If you're planning to pick up on AI, ML and data science, we hope this video series will be very helpful for you. Many people, including techies, feel that data science is a complex subject and refrain from getting into it. I'm here to break that myth. Agreed, there are lots and lots of jargons, but most of them are really simple. CNN, RNN, LSTM, GRU, Pareto Principle, Law of Large Numbers, Decision Tree, A Priori, SVM, and the list goes on, making a newcomer overwhelmed just looking at the number of concepts to be learned. But trust me, each of these are quite easy to understand and simple to learn. I will explain most of these over a series of five to six videos. After seeing them, you will be able to talk about many of these terms to others, or even better, make a video series like I just did. Data science is a concept that unifies statistics, computer science, and business domain. Think of it like a student reading and understanding the syllabus for an exam. In this case, data science is about reading and understanding your data, and then answering or predicting the outcome. Data science is focused on extracting knowledge, insights, and trends from data sets, which are typically large. There are many keywords associated with data science. Artificial intelligence is a bigger area, which comprises of everything related to machine mimicking, human behavior, including robots, hardware, and software. Machine learning is a subset of AI, which purely uses statistical methods and software program for analytics and prediction to improve with the experience. Deep learning is a subset of ML, which makes the computation by using multi-layer neural network, similar to human brain. Data science is everywhere. Think about it. Your social media like Facebook, Instagram uses lots of AI ML like friend suggestions, posts customized to your liking, etc. Remember e-commerce sites like Amazon that shows customers who bought these items also bought these items. Apps like Uber, Google, Maps uses AI to show the best routes that can avoid heavy traffic, travel in the shortest time. Travel sites like Kayak, Skyscanner and more use machine learning these days to help your search and bookings. Your favorite apps for ordering pizzas, listening to music all have a lot of intelligence built in which is based on data science, AI and ML. Let me break down the steps for implementing data science which is quite simple to understand. You need to define the problem statement and what you want to predict. You need to collect all the required data and then fine tune it to remove unwanted and bad data. You need to use a framework like TensorFlow, Azure ML, Keras, there's many more. You need to select an algorithm to apply on the data. This is called training the model. Finally, you should test your model to validate the accuracy. In the next screen, we will see the lifecycle flowchart which explains this. After ingesting the data in one location, we need to clean and normalize the data. This is called data preparation. This means handling null values, removing rows that have bad data. For example, if a field like age is minus 200, it does not make any sense. Then we select a statistical algorithm using your favorite programming language like Python or .NET and apply it on the data to study and understand it. This is called building the model. After training, we test the model for checking the score or accuracy of the prediction. Finally, your model can be deployed in the target system. If you plan to become a data scientist, here are three steps you can follow. Learn statistics. No, no need to learn in depth. In a couple of hours or a day, you can brush up on mean, median, mode, confidence interval, hypothesis testing, etc. Next step is to learn some Python. You can go to sites like W3Schools, where you can learn and try on the website in simple and easy manner. It may take couple of days to couple of weeks to get hang of NumPy, Pandas, reading and writing CSV files, drawing bar and pie charts. Last step is more exciting. Apply the above two steps on your problem statement. You can go to the website GitHub or Kaggle. You can find ready-made working code for predicting cancer, 
or host price spread analysis or even face recognition copy paste the code and the, run the programs to see the result modify the code and see the magic what are the activities of data scientist collect and analyze data for predicting outcomes of the given problem work with stakeholders mine and analyze data from databases check the effectiveness and accuracy of new data source and data gathering techniques work on machine learning program using la- languages like python r and data frame works like keras tensorflow etc here is a quick recap we looked at what is data science why is data science popular we looked at how to implement data science we also looked at how to become a data scientist and what are the different activities of a data scientist if you have any questions regarding this video or series please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i will try to respond as soon as i can thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it there will be more videos coming soon keep watching this space goodbye and have a nice day